14 differences between the rich and the poor. Welcome to our new Feed Ambition mini-series. We know that many of you are on your way to reach financial goals, so we wanted to make a list of things that poor people do which prevents them from ever getting rich. Please take all of these with a grain of salt and realize we're only trying to make you think about your current situation and what you could do to improve yourself. The thing is, there's always some people that will take offense from what we're about to explain. While some of you are busy raging in the comments, the ones that want to succeed, write these down to see if there's room for improvement in their own lives. So, get ready to take some notes. Number 1. Sports are a big deal to the poor. Honestly, unless you're a professional athlete or an owner of one of the teams, there's really no reason for you to watch sports. It's the same with television. It's escapism from your current reality. Think of it like this. You're putting yourself in a position where you as an individual have no impact on the outcome of the game. This behavior then sticks with you and you end up being a spectator in life instead of being a player or an owner. And that's when you start criticizing other people when you yourself haven't done anything better. Number two, when something goes wrong, poor people tend to blame others. How many people do you know that have some sort of excuse or blame other factors for not being successful? Sure, there are some things that are out of our control, but 99% of your life is on you. Remember that you are in charge of your life. You are in charge of your relationships. You are in charge of your health. If you want these to change, do something about it. Life is not what happens to us. It's how we react to what happens to us. When something bad happens, the poor choose to victimize themselves, while the rich look into it, study it, and seek to find out what happened, why it happened, and how they can prevent it in the future. While the poor take the position of vulnerable victim, the rich ones use it as a growing opportunity. Number three, rich people wake up earlier than poor people do. In their early years, poor people are often lazier than the rich. We know that some of you will be triggered a lot by the previous statement, but statistically, it's the truth. Someone who used their youth to grow themselves is a lot less likely to remain poor later on in life. Instead, if you wake up late, don't educate yourself, waste time on meaningless activities. At one point you'll find yourself so far behind what the world needs from you that you'll end up miserable. The paradox is, people who do not focus on growth in the early days end up working a lot harder with way less success later in life just to stay afloat. Almost all of the successful people that we know, like Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, or Warren Buffett, and many more, wake up early, and that's not a coincidence. Number 4. Poor people watch a lot of TV. Let me put it this way, if you have the time to watch TV shows, you're probably poor. It's always amazing how much time poor people waste on meaningless shows. If you know which celebrity is dating who, and if you're watching TV shows every week, if you have a favorite news channel, you're probably watching too much TV, hence why your life is the way it is. Let me explain. Celebrity gossip and buzz offers no value to your life, it only serves the celebrities. Rich people aim to be on TV instead of watching it. You might think, but I'm watching The Big Bang Theory, which is a really funny show, and it helps me disconnect. That's exactly the issue. You disconnect from your problems instead of dealing with them and getting them out of the way. Sure, there are rare occasions. Just like John Lennon said, time you enjoy wasting is not waste of time, but really think about it. Should sitting inside watching a screen be something you really enjoy doing? Before we move forward to the next thing poor people do, let me explain what I meant by having a favorite news channel. You might say that the only good reason to watch TV is to be aware of what's happening in the world and staying informed. The problem we're seeing with this is that mainstream media is always biased in order to fit their own agenda. Instead, use the power of the internet to get a quick glimpse of what's happening in the world and move on to do your own thing. Number five, poor people tend to spend money before they get it. One of the biggest mistakes in life is spending money before you have it. The second you start borrowing money or acquiring expenses before you're able to pay them, your life starts to spiral downward. If you don't have money for something that you're willing to part with without affecting your life, then you can't afford it. Go back to work and then get it. Number six, poor people eat a lot of fast food. Health is really important and many poor people have no interest in knowing what's in their food, what an actual healthy meal should look like, or barely know anything about nutrition. Poor people are frying their brains with large quantities of sugar and fats. They are actively ruining their bodies, and as an effect, they cannot perform at 100% of their potential. If you're not healthy, then all areas of your life are directly affected. You'll suffer physically, mentally, professionally, and even romantically. Number seven. 
Poor people have no savings. One of the main differences between poor people and the rich is that the poor don't get ready for what's next. Having money put aside allows for growth. Let's say something bad happens. If you have money put aside, the problem is solved and you can resume your life. If you don't, and the situation is urgent, what do you do? You either liquidate an asset like your car or house, or you take up a loan. For the rich, when the situation is over, they're left in the same position, minus the savings, while for someone who's poor, their lifestyle has been dramatically hit or now belongs to the bank. Now let's look at the exact opposite. An opportunity comes at your door. Those who have money saved now have the chance to expand their wealth, while the others can't afford to take full advantage of this opportunity. That's why the rich are getting richer, while the poor are getting poorer. Number 8. Poor people borrow money or use credit cards for foolish reasons. One of the main differences between the rich and poor is how they make use of credit. The rule is simple. If you take out a loan to buy something that doesn't generate more money than the loan, don't take it. It's as simple as that. You should only use credit if what you'll be using it for is an investment. Want to take out a loan for a large TV? Don't. Want a loan to buy that new Supreme outfit? Don't. Want to use credit cards to get the latest iPhone? Don't. Unless you're flipping the Supreme stuff for profit, or you're using your iPhone to develop a new app to grow your business, these items should not be on your credit. Instead, earn the money and then spend it. Number 9. Poor people tend to have more kids earlier in life. The truth is, kids are really, really expensive. We all know how fun it is to make them, or at least practice making them, but people get stuck up to this point. They don't think it's true. Just to give you some perspective, if you're living in one of the more developed countries, raising a child will cost you approximately $250,000. Because of a lack of education, environment, and other factors, poor people have on average more children and at a younger age than the rich folks. While the rich wait a couple of years until their standards of living improve in order to secure the right environment and prime conditions for their child to flourish, the poor just go ahead with it. Once the baby is born, the struggling begins. It's nearly impossible to go beyond barely surviving after that. Number 10. Poor people buy products and clothes that are on sale. Let me put it this way. The only thing you should buy on sale are stocks. While poor people are looking to conserve or stretch the little that they have, the rich are focused on increasing their incomes. Just think about it. The clothes that end up being on sale are the ones that people who could afford to pay the full price didn't want. By buying clothes or stuff on sale, you're just making sure that you're looking exactly like someone who can't afford to pay the full price. And probably, they're going to end up buying them again and again since they lack quality. Number 11. Poor people believe that others must help them reach the top. The world doesn't owe you anything. Nobody does. Believe it or not, you're in this by yourself. You are in charge of what happens in your life. The thing is, everyone believes when they're young that they're going to be successful. But then, reality happens. The world we're living in rewards only the best. Those who never quit. Those that keep learning, keep adapting, and understand that nobody will solve their problems for them. Face your problems head on. And along the way, you might meet people who feel the same way and might share parts of the journey with you. Otherwise, you'll just be a part of that majority that's meant to fail. Number 12. Poor people never follow through on their goals or ideas. You're not able to control where you are born, who your parents are, or the way you're treated by society. The only thing you can control is the amount of hours you put into your dream. Every single person alive only has 24 hours per day, and yet, some do a lot more than others. If you dedicate yourself to learning and implementing more about what you're passionate about, it's only a matter of time until you reach success. You've heard that 9 out of 10 businesses fail in their first 3 years? Well, do you know how many businesses fail because they never got started? The answer is, all of them. If you have an idea, work on it. Start before you're ready. Get feedback, improve it, launch again, and again, and again. Number 13. Poor people usually hang out with other poor people. We all heard it before. You're the sum of the five people you hang out with most. If you're surrounded by four poor people, guess who's the fifth one? The ways people make sure they stay poor is by affiliating themselves or hanging out with other poor people that reinforce their poor beliefs. You need people around you that will inspire you and push you further, that are doing incredible things themselves, whose success will only motivate you to exceed your current reality. 
If you're hanging out with the same people you did when you were young, you might want to double check. Don't be afraid to step away from a crowd, move on to something better. If you don't, your potential will probably be crushed by those who want to feel better about their miserable lives by making sure you suffer the same fate. Number 14. Poor people tend to ignore their health. We all know on the importance of health, but this is an especially important point. Poor people do not get themselves checked regularly. Let's say by mere coincidence, you end up having a difficult disease, let's say cancer. If you do regular checkups, you'll discover it in early stages, making the treatment possible at a lower cost. If on the other hand, you neglect to do so, you might discover it when it's already too late. It will cost both you and your entire family a fortune. And no matter how much money you have, you might still lose your life. If you like this mini-series and don't want to miss our future videos, please make sure to like and subscribe. Till the next one.